The Chesapeake Bay, the largest estuary in the United States, is a unique watershed that is dying despite the best efforts of public and private organizations over the past quarter century to restore habitats that have been ravaged by years of unchecked early industrialization, stormwater runoff, air pollution, rising sea levels, and excessive use of agricultural chemicals. More than 150 rivers and streams drain into the bay, a watershed that spans a 64,000 square mile region encompassing portions of New York, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia. Communities that live along the bay and its tributaries depend upon the water for economic vitality and recreation. In southeast Virginia, the Elizabeth River drains directly into the bay and is bordered by Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, and Portsmouth cities. This heavily industrialized region has seen fish kills as recently as September 2008 and experienced multiple algae blooms earlier that same summer. Marjorie Mayfield Jackson is the executive director of the Elizabeth River Project, whose mission it is to make the river swimmable and fishable by the year 2020. Despite tremendous success in bringing on board local, state, and federal government and industry officials, Ms. Jackson says the campaign faces major obstacles. Cities are strapped to find money to build stormwater treatment plants to filter polluted stormwater that currently drains directly into the river carrying excessive fertilizers and other chemicals with it. Under the Obama administration, cities around the Elizabeth River may find the financial support they need. When the new administrator of EPA, Lisa Jackson, joined, she sent out an all-hands memo to uh, the 17,000 or so EPA employees, and she chose in that page-and-a-half memo to, to highlight two water bodies, the Great Lakes and the Chesapeake Bay, as areas of her um, significant interest. In an effort to promote river stewardship among local businesses and residents, the Elizabeth River Project is spearheading the development of environmental education programs, including a learning barge that will be used for research and public awareness. Constructed by students of the University of Virginia, it is the world's first solar and wind-powered floating classroom. The Elizabeth River Project plans to launch the barge late summer 2009. In order to save the bay, everyone living along its shores must help keep it clean. From leaving the car at home and reducing excess lawn fertilizer to planting trees and wetlands. For more information about what you can do, visit www.elizabethriver.org and click What You Can Do. You can also educate yourself at www.chesapeakebay.net and by visiting the Chesapeake Bay Foundation at www.cbf.org.